I know what you're thinking. Yes, it's been a while. I haven't edited this video until now and finally I can do it. This is part two of my Thailand trip back in June and July. It's been such a crazy last two months that I haven't been motivated to film or edit videos, but I'm finally getting myself back together and figured out so I can do so. Thailand was nothing but magical. And yes, we did get a lot of foot massages, of course, every day, almost every day. And I traveled to Phuket and then the PP Islands. I think this is the trip towards the PP Islands. And yes, we did take a speedboat that took two hours to get there. And when we got there, it was so magical. <laughs> I can't believe how amazing it looked once we arrived to our next resort. And once we got there, they greeted us with beautiful music and champagne and some treats. So that was really nice because it was a resort experience. So of course we had to have all that jazz. <laughs> But anyway, um, Sai PP is such a wonderful place. Um, my bungalow was in the jungle and I am so thrilled to show you because it was like living in paradise. Look at this room. Look at this bed. It was so comfy. I slept a lot in it. I also had a chase lounge, which I didn't really use, but the bathroom was my favorite part. This bathroom is so big. The shower was a rain shower and it is just oh my gosh it was breathtaking we had robes and towels and things like that for the room and each of us had our own bungalow in the jungle it was such a refreshing new place that i was in love with i, I could live here i could really live here i did see some monitor lizards they're huge but they're okay and our pool was very quiet serene there were some kids there at some point but it was okay now we did get sick but we finally healed enough to explore the other islands so for my friend's birthday we rented a catamaran yacht and we got to snorkel and explore some of the beautiful islands that are kind of like the landmarks of thailand and our uh boat host allowed us to go snorkeling in these waters and it was just so warm and it felt so good and for the birthday celebration we had a bunch of food and it was delicious everybody had a great time and we finally made it to this island called Pile Lagoon oh my goodness what a beautiful sight it's so magical here. I could live here. <laughs> but anyway, my friend turned 40 and we celebrated and had amazing cake. It was carrot cake. And then we head back to the resort where we enjoyed the beautiful sunset and had some laughs and just enjoy the horizon and how beautiful this place is. It's almost like a dream. I know a lot of places have places like these, but nothing like this. Then that night, we did enjoy some dinner at one of the restaurants on the island. Um, and then the next day, I got up and checked out the breakfast, which we had a lot of variety. The variety of breakfast was so amazing. I couldn't, I didn't want to not eat everything. There was so much food that you have choices to pick from. And I did see it all. I didn't have all of it, but I had most of it for breakfast. I actually think I had two breakfasts. It was an accident, but I did. <laughs> and um, yeah, the food was so good and I loved just being here. And then we made our way to the next island and that was PP Island Resort or PP Villa Resort. Now the room for this place was pretty cute. Um, the place is a resort with a bunch of villas as well and is a much more affordable one than the one we were at before but it was equally as gorgeous 
and the jungle feel still there even though we were closer to the water but other than that like it was just so beautiful and so peaceful and here you can also swim but we didn't really get in the water in this place but other than that like there's little shops that we could explore and a bunch of restaurants um i was actually pretty sick on this island and i was trying to heal myself but before we left this island we got tattoos <laughs> um we were able to get some tattoos that range from like 20 dollars to like 40 bucks so i got a palm tree to remind me of how beautiful thailand was and i just love it the pp islands is probably my favorite place in thailand i loved bangkok as well but the pp islands was definitely the highlight of my trip and i want to share with you all of these memories because it was so magical so one of those is me getting this tattoo and it's a reminder that i was there and then there was this like fire light show on the beach that we stopped while we were walking we just stopped to look at for a while and that was what marked the end of this beautiful journey in the PP Islands in Phuket. After that, um, I went shopping in the little shops and explored the beach while we had some calming times after healing and recovering from our illness because we did get food poisoning. And I just needed a moment to myself to enjoy it. After that, I did take a boat. It was not a speed boat, but it was one of those giant boats that take you back to Phuket where I took my flight back to Bangkok. And I arrived at night early enough to where I could just lay down and sleep for the rest of the night. The beautiful landing in Bangkok is so amazing because the city is lit up the entire night. Um, I did arrive there and I decided let me take myself to the night market. Now the night market is so amazing because the little shops that you find there, everything is completely cheap. It's so affordable. There's pet food, there's all kinds of foods, there's uh, items for your dog, for people, clothes. The, the food varieties are just amazing. The night market does have street food that you can eat or explore. The food is all really good. And the drinks and everything, there's all kinds of varieties. So I really enjoyed just walking around. I didn't want to eat too much. The only thing that I actually did try was the alligator or crocodile I think it was the crocodile but there were like little bugs and things like that insects that you can eat or butter that you can eat they do fry butter I don't know how but they do and I think this lady she was serving drinks but I think she was known for her services because a lot of people were trying to take pictures with her um, the food vendors were very amazing and all of the food that they were um, selling was good i did have the crocodile and that was something that was a new experience for me but i loved it overall and i'm glad that i got to experience this beautiful life in thailand and then i headed home and it was over from that thank you for watching this video and i'll see you in the next one bye